like the way you and Johnny go at it. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps the sport interesting, man. I mean, that must you like you really, really wanted that that victory. Yeah, man. I, 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 running against Johnny is always fun, especially when I'm doing it in front of the UK fans because I like beating them in the home. You, you, you beat me a couple of times last year, but I'm not trying to let that happen no more. So always getting a W is always fun. We spoke earlier in the year, and you had you know a real ambition to get your, your times down and. Especially over the 200 meters, how's that going? I actually broke the two, uh, 200 meter T44 world record this year. Yeah, man. So the first amputee to go, or well, uh, single amputee to go under 22 seconds. So I kind of had a setback with the injury. I strained my Achilles real bad. I was out nine weeks. So Glasgow was my first real race back, and just trying to get back in the form. You'd have never known you hurt your Achilles on that from that race in yeah. Glasgow. I mean, is that the first time you've hurt it? Have you? Had no, that was my first. Yeah, it was my first time hurting. I took. I took Achilles is for an amputee is really you know iffy because yeah. I only got one. <laughs> <laughs> I only got one, so it takes a lot of stress, and I just want them really to make sure I was 100% before I jumped back on the track and got the W, so I can't complain, but definitely focus on the 200 this year. What's the aim after this competition on Sunday? Um, I get to go home and see my kids, man. <laughs> so I'm really How many you got? Got two. Got a little boy and a little girl, so I'm really looking forward to that, but I'll be right back um, in a couple of weeks. Got Birmingham, the IPC final, and um, I'll be running in Brazil as well. So. How old are your kids? I got it nine months and two months. So wow. Real close together, real close nine together. Nine months and two months? Yeah, real close together. Yeah, two different mothers. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, you did that. That's a magic trick. <laughs> Very close together. Well, okay, so how's handling that? That must have a real impact on you. Yeah, like, I've never trained so hard in my life, man. Like, yeah. having th my kids, they're they my biggest motivation. Like, I'm blessed to have two mothers who understand what I do for a living, who understand that, you know, we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know. But That's it, life, man. Yeah. It's life, exactly. It's life, right? But I take care of my kids. Like, they, they my biggest joy. You know, they're my biggest stress <laughs> at the same time. But I take, I keep their pictures beside my bed at every competition, so they're definitely my biggest motivation. We spoke about what you really want to achieve, and that's competing with able-bodied athletes earlier in the year. I mean, how, how much closer do you think, having broken that 200-meter record, do you think... You I actually just uh, ran my first 100-meter able-body race last week in Carlstad at the Grand Prix. And that was that as an experience it, and yeah, a goal? To yeah, go. man. They uh, let me run in the B race, and I came in second place, actually. Oh, so that was, you know, it just shows that the sport as a whole is growing, and, you know, they let us come out and show and showcase our talents, and especially in the 200. Like, that's my goal, to break that 20-point barrier and get down to 20.1, 20.2. And hopefully next year I can make that Beijing team. I'm trying to go to World Championships next year. So it's, it's not even a long-term goal. It's right now. Like, I'm trying to do it right here, right now. And, and do you feel like everything's going in the right direction in that respect? Oh, most definitely. I, I, I got a new coach. Um, Who's that? Uh, coach uh, Alric Monroe. He's out in San Diego. And uh, Jamaican coach. He trains me like I'm an able-bodied sprinter. And, that, and I think that also was the biggest jump. Because going from training like an amputee to training like an able-body. Um, to show that we do everything that able-bodies do from, you know, times and everything. So I think that was the biggest jump. Just being, my, my whole training situation changed. And from that point I dropped. My times have been really dropping, especially in the 200. How's your profile growing in America? Uh, we're still working on it. We're still working. Like the Paralympics in America is not as big. You know, track and field as a whole is not as big in America. But especially on the Paralympic side, most of them don't even know the Paralympic team exists. So I think that's my biggest goal right now, is just you know putting us on on blast, basically. You know, and being a personality that they can re you know relate to. It's you know we yeah we have a di physical disability, but that doesn't make us less human. So I think that's the biggest, just showing the world that hey man, we're athletes at the end of the day. Yeah, we got disabilities, but. When we step out on that track, it's athlete and athlete only. It's not an athlete with a disability. Are you looking at the Commonwealth Games with a little tinge of envy? With you know the fact that they've got an inclusive Most para definitely. schedule. Yeah, man. Mm. Like I feel like the the Commonwealth they do have a few um, disabled events, but uh, I think they should definitely expand a little bit. Right. Unfortunately, America doesn't compete in the Commonwealth, but. Uh, I still think they should expand it and open it up to, if not all the classes, at least the major ones, T44, and, you know, you know, T46s and, and all those guys who actually can come out there and put on a great show. You're still young, you know, years yeah. in the school. How long do you see yourself in the school? Man, I'm looking forward to, you know, 2020, Tokyo. And uh, wow. after yeah. Tokyo, I'll, be, I'll only be 28, 29 in Tokyo. Yeah. I'll be 29 in Tokyo. And Kim Collins doing it at 37, running PBs at 36 <laughs> and 37. So why not? Like, you know, how I can I see my kids as much as I possibly can. So uh, you know, depending on how they develop with me being in and out of their lives, it really depends on how far I go in the sport. Thanks for your time, man. Nope, no problem. No.